Namaskar, welcome to my channel. I'm Mena Bhatnagar. In today's video, I'm going to talk about Vastu. Vastu is part of astrology and it has also been mentioned in Atharveda. Vastu means living in sync with nature. Our rishis designed it in such a way that humans and nature live peacefully, coexist and support each other. Vastu stems from the fourth house of the natal chart. And that's where, if you have to understand Vastu, you need to look at. The fourth house in astrology has many meanings. And it's like uh, mother, motherland, how you're going to live peacefully, how, what kind of house you are going to have, how many vehicles you're going to have or not those kind of things. But today, since we're going to talk about Vastu, I'm only going to talk about the fourth house in relation to the Vastu. So to study Vastu, one should look at the natal chart and the fourth house of it. One needs to look at the fourth house, the lord of the fourth house and what other houses it lords and the impact of other planets or the relationship with other planets. Interestingly, Vastu even tells us what kinds of tree to plant if there is any remedy required. So when is the remedy really required? To understand this, I'm going to give you three different conditions. The first is that the fourth house is strong, which means the fourth house lord is well placed, maybe in its own house, exalted, and lords over other good houses. And it is free of any kind of negative impacts. In that case, the fourth house is strong and one really doesn't need to do any remedy. The normal praying to God for the well-being should be good enough. That is one condition. Another happens that the fourth house is well placed, this lord is strong, yet the native is having problem. And in that's the case, one tends to consult the Vastu. Uh, but in that case, the, you need to look at deeply that is there any malefic influence happening? Because if the Lord is strong, houses are strong, and there are very strong combinations, and still the native is going through a tough time, it means there is a short duration malefic influence going on. In that case, after identifying the planet, one should look at the dasha and see how long the dasha is. One must just question this thing that if the house is strong, the planet is strong, why should we have trouble at all? Well, to give you an example, like there is a young, strong athlete. But he falls, he has an injury, and he's supposed to rest for a while. So that doesn't take away the fact that he's a strong and young, but he's probably going through a minor tough time, and for that time he takes a rest. Or you must have noticed there are some people who seldom fall sick, are very strong, the immunity is very strong. Still, a short-term viral fever takes over, and they sometimes even get hospitalized. So the point is that everything could be strong, but some could be someone could be passing through a malefic times. So in that case, propitiate the Dasha Lord and give charity related to the significations of him and pray to him. The third condition is the Dasha Lord uh, sorry, the, uh, the fourth house lord has a relationship with twelfth house and the houses of travel or living abroad. In that case, it's understood that the native will not live in his own place for a long time. So after identifying that he is not going to live here, identify the time where he will move abroad. The third condition happens when the Neither the house is good, nor the dasha is good. That means the fourth house is also having a malefic influence and the dasha is also having the malefic influence. In that case, we need to do remedy and uh, we need to propitiate the dasha lord, the fourth house also, 
and look at the significations and the time period. But frankly speaking, if the native doesn't have a good placement of the fourth house lord, it's not going to be that he is going to have a tough time all his life because Dasha is designed in such a way that we do have good times. If we have bad times, we have also a good times. This is a wheel of fortune which will go up and what is up must come down. So one should not panic, but in my belief, pray and propitiate the gods. Always study the Dasha. After you have studied the planetary position, study the Dasha because Dasha is supreme. In fact, the transit also is subservient to the Dasha. So the planet and the Dasha must correlate and if you feel still that there is a malefic time and the fourth house is not doing very well, in that case only one should go for major changes in the house. This was just a short video on the Vastu. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe my video. Namaskar.